We got our first raccoon right out there, followed by our second raccoon right there, about 115 yards out. And we actually might be able to take this shot. That is if they would happen to slow down here anytime soon. However, it looks like, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's a really cool looking raccoon right there. Oh, they're both slowed down. And they're working their way back in. Got a blonde one and a common. We're going to try for a double here. Want to slide over a little bit more. All right, here we go. I mean, it's not like the greatest angle, but we could definitely make that happen. And we're going to have to do it pretty quickly. I don't know like why that hit nowhere near that raccoon oh, 150 yards how did he get so far out there how the heck did he get so far out there all right let's try this one more time here we got both raccoons out there and then it looks like we have a wild hog crossing the road here oh pretty good one right there that raccoon is about 115 yards out kind of standing directly up What a shot! Oh man, that was epic! Oh, that was awesome! Oh my god, that was so cool! Can we jump up another raccoon? Another raccoon there, but tell you what, I really want to try and take down a couple of these. Oh, there we go, there we go! Raccoon, raccoon, raccoon! Zero in for a hundred. Get on him! Oh! Dropped him! Dropped him right there on the run at a hundred yards out All right, so here we got both raccoons I'm not exactly sure where we hit this one, but we definitely dropped it got it in the lung and vertebrae at 109 yards away at 4.8 and yeah, you definitely can use the air rifle on the raccoons And that's so sweet And this guy here we drop right on the spot Ended up getting a double lung spinal cord shot at 112 yards out. Man, it was a pretty epic shot there. Really good penetration as well, 4.9, and it was a female. Oh, got another raccoon right there, 115 yards out from us. Drilled her pretty good, but did not drop her. I figured we might as well take a shot at this wild pig as well. And I think we got a good hit into it. But did we? It seemed like we did. Let's go check. Yeah, we got 50% health right here, so... We definitely hit something. Alright, so here we have... A raccoon piled up right here. I believe that's the blonde one. Yeah, that's the blonde. Intestine spine shot at 104 yards out. We dropped her right on the spot. We got some blood here. We're gonna call from another wild hog over here. If it runs across the road, it's fair game. There's a level two liver shot, 180 yards out. And then we got two more down over here. There was a big level three, but uh, he got away right before we took the shot on the second hog. So here's this one down right here. Skull shot, 180 yards out. Oh, just missed the brain. But even with the skull shot, it actually does take them down. So that's pretty good to know. And then we got this one right here. Not a very pretty shot. Uh, oh, okay, so that was actually the 308, Never mind. I was thinking that we were using the um, air rifle, but we were actually using the 308. Well, it's not exactly a raccoon, but it's a quail. Looks to be a pretty nice one. Look at them all. Lots of quail. Clean miss. Clean miss. All right. So the quail just landed down over here. 
This time we should be able to get closer to him. And what do we jump up over there? Oh, big old pink spotted wild hog out there. Smoked him. That actually might be a mounter. I haven't seen one like that in quite some time. But a pretty epic shot. And we dropped him right on the spot. And let's go over here now and grab our AR-22 rifle. Oh, there they go! Oh, dude, we got two of them. We got two of them. Can I get one more? Yes, I can! That's three. Three for like six shots, I think. So that was pretty good overall. Then there's also another whole flock of them over here. Yeah, over there. I'm gonna have to come back here in a little bit and look for the rest of these quail because they're gonna be kind of hard to find, but here's our wild hog down right here. It's a pink spotted one, I believe. All right, and the black spots, it's only a silver, 82, but pretty nice shot, 200 yards out, nice liver and right lung shot on him. If that was a gold, I'd probably get it mounted. All right, now to try and find some of these quail. There should be at least four of them down here. I can't imagine we're not gonna be able to find any of them. But I've yet to see a single quail down here. Oh, here's one right here. Maybe that's why we're not seeing them because they're all white in this white field here. 204.9. Yeah, it's gonna be very, very difficult to find them in here. Um. I might actually have to change my outline color of these quail because it just blends right in with these flowers here. You see what I'm talking about? All right, I got another one down laying right here. There we go, 40 yards out. Got that one right in the wing. Decent silver. So that's two. And we got some blood right here. Oh, there's a quail right there. It's actually a brown intestine shot at 34 yards out. Oh, that is not a raccoon, but it is, however. Oh. No, it's only a female. Where did the shot even... Oh, there we go. A nice male, nice male. But where, honestly, in the heck did that shot even hit? Oh, drilled her that time. Whoa. Whoa. So we couldn't hit her when she was standing there. And then we drill her on the trot at about 150 yards out. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not going to ask too many questions about that. At least we did finally get a fox. After missing it like five, six different times. We finally did connect one time. Well, I found it and it's actually laying not very far away from where we took that first shot. It's laying right here and... Oh, I mean, that was a perfect shot, but because it was quartering so much away, we didn't get any penetration and it just stopped right at the flesh. But still, I'll take it. First fox down with the air rifle. I believe we're currently on three different raccoons all at the same time here. They're right next to each other. So if we can catch up to this herd, we should be able to take down potentially all three of them, including this small one in the back right here. Oh, drilled her. She should not be going far after that. But either way, it looks like she's about to go down. And not only that, there's another one cutting across right here in front of us. Right there. Oh. Another one right there. Wait a second. Is there two of them down? Or is that a tree? That is a tree. I was just shooting at that. Whoops. The other day I was out here and I spotted a giant gray fox. Now, he hangs out in this woods here. I've only ever seen him once. But he definitely should be in this area. So, since the wind is kind of blowing that direction, I want to actually put out a call here and then kind of work our way more to the uh, right side. That way we still have a really good wind because typically he's usually bedded right back up in there. Holy, that's a giant hog there. That's what that is. 
I probably shouldn't do this, but that's a really, really big hog. And it's a brown hybrid as well, I believe. There's no way I'm not taking the shot. It looked really good. That should have been good. We got a quail that just landed right on top of us here. <laughs> Dropped it right on the spot. One shot. We're getting more calling over here as well. But I really want to be careful that we don't spook that giant fox because he's got to be around here not too far away. Big gold female, 221, a gold female brown quail. That's pretty sweet. 13 yards away on the fly, open sights. Apparently it was way back here. Way back here. Oh, look what's laying right here. Apparently we made a pretty good shot as well, but there he is, a big old brown hybrid, massive wild hog down. Let's have a look at him. That's probably gonna be our fox column, by the way. But it's gonna be a 110 gold brown hybrid. Pulled off a pretty decent shot. Got a lower shoulder blade, left lung, and stomach shot at 170 yards. But that's a really cool one. And um, I think we might wanna get him mounted. I mean, I know there's a big mythical around here too, but I'll take a giant seven female. That's pretty awesome. There she is right there. Whoa, 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 I almost hit it. I wasn't even trying to hit it. Oh my God, I was just trying to slow it down. I was actually trying to slow down that fox and we almost hit the thing. That is not what I was trying to do. Oh, that was almost bad. Because if we hit it bad, then we're still not going to get a gold out of it. You know what I mean? So ideally, I'd like to make a nice shot. But uh, yeah, apparently in that case there, it decided to try and go for a auto shot, I guess you could call it. Raccoon, big raccoon, big, big raccoon. I don't know if that's going to take it down, but we definitely hit it. We messed up the shot a little bit high and forward. Man, that was a giant too, 11.3. Wow, did we mess that shot up. I should not have taken that shot. Oh man, what about a giant gold, but instead turned out to be a silver because we did not hit a vital organ. So you do in fact still need to hit a vital organ on the raccoons. Wow, I honestly wasn't exactly sure, but now I know.